that last situation you was in may have been bad and stuff may have not worked in your favor. And you're just trying to figure out why is all of this stuff happening to you? That's why today I want to let you know, even though stuff may not be working out in your life right now, sometimes that's the heavenly father intervening in your life because he see the path of destruction you was following. When God delay you from something, it's because he's working on you. When God is calling you to have patience, it's because he's changing stuff about you that's in your mind. See, sometimes we got to look at stuff from a different perspective. We got to back up out of the situation so we can fully understand what's going on. Because when you're in the mix, it's hard to see what's happening around you. But if you back up from the situation and you take a look at the path that this situation was leading you toward, that's how you start to recognize that, okay, dear Heavenly Father, this is your will. And when you say let God's will be done in your life, that's what's going to correct things about your life. See, I remember reading about Paul. And before he became Paul, his name was Saul. And the Bible say he was slaughtering people. He, he just was a terrible person at one point in time. But then... He had an encounter with Lord Jesus as he journeyed toward Damascus. And Lord Jesus shined this real, real bright light and it took his sight away. It took his sight away. So the only thing he was able to do was hear the voice of Lord Jesus. So to make a long story short, Lord Jesus gave him instructions on what to do. And there was this guy named Ananias that was one of Lord Jesus' disciples. And he told his disciple, go heal Saul, who later on became Paul. So that's what Ananias did, but he didn't want to do it because of his background. He didn't want to heal Paul because of his background, because the things he has done. But what Lord Jesus preached? Forgiveness. So Ananias became obedient. He went to go heal him. And the Bible say when Paul regained his sight, it was like scales came off his eyes. And he was able to see the error of his ways for the first time. And he changed. See, the reason why I'm bringing up that testimony is sometimes the heavenly father has to take something from you that's valuable. He has to take something from you that you feel as though you can't live without. In order to see the error of your ways, in order to change things about you. So that situation that you was in last time, yeah, it might didn't work in your favor, but really that was the heavenly father changing you. He was giving you a new heart. And another thing too, sometimes because of the person that we once was, we may have been the ones that was hurting people. Just like Saul before he became Paul. Sometimes we may be the ones that's causing the trouble. That's making other people's lives worse. That's breaking hearts. That's traumatizing people. Sometimes we the problem. So to get that problem out of us, to solve that problem, God will take something from you. Something that you feel like you can't live without. So he can redirect your focus. God got to take the scales off your eyes. Because he wants you to have a better life. He wants to change things about you. He wants to use you for his will. So you can bring glory to his name. Every single struggle that we face in life is to create a testimony. And how we create that testimony is when we give our lives to the most high God. And when we accept Lord Jesus in our heart to be our Lord and personal savior. 
That's how that testimony is created. Sometimes we go through struggles in life. And it's hard to see how to get out of those struggles when we're in the mix, when we're in the middle of all the chaos, because we're walking on the wrong path. That's why it's hard to see. But when you get on that narrow way that leads to life, that's how you find true purpose. See, Lord Jesus gave Paul a vision on what to do so he can get his sight back. And he told him to go to this street called Straight. Now, when he got to the street called Straight, Ananias came there, he called for him, and he healed him and restored his sight. And from there, from the street called Straight, is where Paul found his purpose, and he started preaching the gospel of Lord Jesus. He started preaching the gospel of Lord Jesus. See, when we come to obedience to the instructions of Lord Jesus, that's how we find purpose. That's how we change. So every delay that happens in our life, guess what? It's adding to our knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. So don't be impatient waiting for Lord Jesus. Because God's patience is giving us, people, time to repent. God is giving you time to repent. Because if he take you to a particular place, and mind you, this place where God has taken you is where the change is going to happen, where the healing is going to happen, where you find your purpose, where you find more meaning for your life. When God takes you to this place, it's because he wants you to change. So that's why he has patience with us so we can change before we get to the place. So I want to end with this. The reason for the delay. The reason why stuff didn't work in your favor, the reason why that last relationship didn't work is because the Heavenly Father loved us so much that he refuses to allow you to be broken in the newness of life. God wants you to enjoy your life in his presence. So if it's anything that's pulling you away from the Heavenly Father, if it's anything that's pulling you away from the teachings of Lord Jesus, guess what? That's the path that always leads to misery, pain, destruction, a terrible life. Because the word also say, when we be sure to remember God's instructions, we shall be prosperous. And find good success. See, you only find that good success on the path of righteousness. The narrow way that leads you back to Lord Jesus. That's the only path that leads to true success, to joy, to a new life, to a transformation. That's the path. Don't let the devil steal you off this path. Because it's obvious what leads to something good and what leads to something bad. The devil wants to deceive people. He wants to make stuff appear that people that live in the world is having a good life. When really, they're miserable. God wants us to see the truth. We see the truth when we step into the marvelous light of Lord Jesus. Think about it. When you come into a dark room, right, and you turn the light on, that's when you're able to see what's in the room. But if you never turn the light on, you don't know what's hiding in that room. That's the difference, y'all. When you step into the light of Lord Jesus, that's what makes a difference in your life because now you're able to see for, for the first time. That's the reason for the delay. So we won't step into unwanted traps. The devil just want to trap you. The enemy wants to trap you. But if God didn't do that delay, guess what? We would have fell right into that trap. 
God's delay is his preparation for your life, for what's for what he wants you to do in life. Have patience. Because this is the reason for the delay. So we can repent from our ways so God can prepare us for what he wants us to do. And so we can find true meaning for our life. We find true meaning through Lord Jesus. That's real. I pray this word bless you in Jesus name. Amen. I love y'all.